All right, guys, today we are exploring new territory. This is a place I've been eyeballing for a long time and always procrastinate coming here. It is a cyber swamp that is at least two to three miles in length and very wide. And it's one of those that's more of a clear color than it is dingy. I'm in search of a fish I've never caught before today. They are very rare in the state of Missouri and they're only known to be in three locations. And that is the flyer, F-L-I-E-R. They look like a mix between a bluegill and a crappie. And they only get about the size of your hand generally, six inches to eight inches is considered big for a flyer. Never caught one, it's on my bucket list. So let's see if I can get one today. If not, we got bluegill, warmouth, crappie, bowfin, gar, pretty much everything in here. So uh, should be a fun day. I'm doing this without a motor because I gotta have my motor for tomorrow and I didn't wanna have to charge my battery late tonight when I got home. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paddle a ways up away from the car before I even fish because I wanna to go to where this big creek meets in and it's a real clear creek and there's a big pothole there. I have a good feeling about that spot. So I'm gonna to try to work my way up to that area first and then I'll fish on the way back. So, all right guys, we'll turn back on once we get out there. Looks like that's a little creek that comes in. That might be ditch number six. Or is that just a little notch? No, that's a ditch coming in. Sure is. No, it's just a notch. I like it. Trees right in the middle. It's more deeper than Neelyville or the other one. We know it's at least five foot or deeper. It might be deeper than that. Could be six or seven. I know it's at least five because this paddle's three and I stuck my arm all the way down. But where them trees are at, it can only be three foot or less. Guys, got my first fish of the day. Little largemouth. What I'm using on this setup, I got three different ones. This is four pound line. This is my flyer pole. And I got a little tiny old school crappie jig on here. By old school, I mean the old ones we used to use back in the 80s. The little one inch and inch and a half tube jigs large mouth. It is the first fish though. Anyway on the jig I'm using those old school 80s jigs. This one is hot pink half white and with a chartreuse tail 1 8 ounce jig head plane. That's what I'm trying to get the uh, flyers on. I thought I might have had one there for a second. guys it is Labor Day weekend we decided just like all holidays most of the time go where the people are not at we wanted to avoid the crowd so what we are doing today is we're going catfishing for channel cats and maybe the rare chance of a flathead or blue we're gonna go all out this time 
we're going to set limb lines with live bluegill on them with glow sticks tied to them right at dark put 12 of them in a circle and just set in between them all and watch the glow sticks to go off every time i get a fish or one of them gets stolen then we're just going to rebait them so for right now it's three in the afternoon we're going to catch bluegill for bait and keep them alive in the basket i'm going to tie the basket to the side of the canoe try to keep them at least 30 bluegill alive if some of them die it's not a big deal and i'm going to just try to get on some jumbo cats today guys right now i'm going to go fix up my 12 limb lines make sure they still reach the water if they don't i'm going to redo them and i'm going to tie the glow sticks to them now but not activate them that way when dark arrives i'll be ready all i gotta do is bait them up so stay tuned should be a good day guys should get something here Hey, that's two. See? Finally. Dang, he's pretty big. <laughs> Hey, we're getting them quick now, ain't we? We'll have 30, no problem now, by 8 o'clock. Or 7, 7 o'clock. It's 4.30. We are getting limb line bait right now, guys, and filling the basket with them. My goal is 36. That way there's three for each limb line. Boy, he tore up this worm big time. Oh my God, I had it at the very top and a bass attacked it. I was dragging it across the top of the water, reeling it in to recast it. And he came up and tacked it. Guys, that was cool. I just caught a large mouth on a top water red wiggler. That's something you don't hear very every day. I was literally reeling in my worm. I was gonna recast it over to my left in that bush and he came up and I was skiing the thing across the top and he tacked it. Wow. <laughs> That's not bad, look. Honey. Uh, almost a pound. All right, guys, nice surprise. We always get one bass every time we're here. That means they're active, though. That's a sign that the fish are active right there. That means they'd hit top water too. Should have brought my top water. Yep. All right, hold on. That's still only eight. Eight or nine. I think it's eight. Got me a nice large mouth on a red wiggler and bobber with a cricket hook. Oh good, you got another green sunfish. That ain't bad. Boy, he inhaled that thing. I'm gonna have to get pliers. Not bad. Oh my god. I don't think there's no way. No. <sighs> Alright guys, nice large mouth for a worm anyway. About a pound and a half. <laughs> Blood all over my pants. Kid first. <clears throat> you expect me to reach all the way up there? 
Why don't I just hand you the fish? Why don't I just hand you the fish? It'd be easier. Goodness. No, he won't live. All right, this is nine or ten bait fish. We're doing better, but we got a rush. We're way behind. Good God. Yeah, that's going to get the big fish there. Cut him in half. That's what I'm going to do. Cut him in half with a dang knife. Two fish right there, really. Because <coughs> a lot of them were not big enough to cut in half. Definitely a fish on this. You just do good with the lighting, and then when I hold the fish, you need to aim the light at my ribs, not up at my face, <clears throat> if I get him in, if there's a fish on there. Huh? huh? It's definitely a fish. There's no doubt in my mind. Yeah, that is a fish. Oh, yeah. That's a catfish. Oh, yeah. Guys, these glow sticks was the best idea I've ever, or William ever thought of. It saved us so much hassle. It used to be when you he would hear the catfish, you had to shine your light around and wonder which limb line it was. And you had to just keep driving around in a circle and watching. This way you can just sit there. I can see all of them around me, no problem. And you can tell when you get a fish on them. They don't look that bad. He's pulling pretty good couple pounds anyway <clears throat> all right guys just hold that light steady we want to get make sure we all right guys let's see what we got here oh yeah nice channel cat oh man yeah cooler I guess or you want to put them back you want? <clears throat> All right, guys. We got a channel. He's about seven or eight pounds. Pretty decent. All right, I need you to take the camera from me now and film me. You're gonna have to film me at the same time and hold the light right at my. You want to hold the light right about at my ribs because or else it don't it won't show up right all right guys first two line channel cat not too bad he's about six seven pounds it's looking promising let me uh i'll hold him up once i get him off the hook again then i gotta rebate this before we leave if I can get the hook. Oh man, he hooked himself really good. My goodness. It's dark. Because <clears throat> you're not aiming the light right. Go. It's real small. Oh no, that's a bluegill. Oh, so, oh. Something did try to get him though, didn't it? <clears throat> check we need to check it to see if it stole the bait or not god that was a giant too on that first one i'm telling you just didn't it wouldn't have mattered if you got to it sooner or not it just didn't hook that had a nice live bluegill on it too God. Now that something tried to go after that one though. You can tell something tried to go at get him. So something's got its eye on him. It could have just been a gar though. You ain't gonna get a gar on a limb line. It'd be pretty hard. Fish though, it was a ten ten pounder plus. Now something's on that one. 
the third one, it was swinging. The third one just swung real bad. Oh, it's still down. Mm-hmm. Huh. Listen, that Look at that third one. Oh, that is definitely a fish. Something's, let's let let's let him take it though. We gotta let him take it. Don't don't you're gonna scare it. Stop shining. Don't shine. He ain't got it yet all the way. He's thinking about it. You gotta turn the lantern off and just sit here and watch. Something's thinking about getting that third one. He's not took it all the way yet. That's why I told you don't shine your light on it. You're gonna scare him off. Still on there, I just seen it moving. God, that was a gigantic fish. Gigantic. It's probably gonna get off. It, they keep getting off. The odds are against us. Every time they get off. That one's got a good hook though, because it kept the other fish on before. It's still on there. All right, guys, we got a fish on. Right when we was, we're pulling up our limb lines, we got four of them hung, we, we pulled four of them up. We got nine left. And all of a sudden we just heard a splash out of this world. This thing is big. Whatever this fish is on it, if he stays on, this fish is gigantic. I don't know how big, but it's big. You talk about loud. He was on 30 seconds ago. He's still on, he's still on. Okay, shine the light, get the light ready. I'll get the fish. Go ahead and shine him. Okay. We may have a giant here, guys. He sure sounds like it. Oh my. Pretty big. What? He's still he's not on there yet. He's still fighting it. Oh yeah. What the He hooked himself. Oh the bluegill slid up the line. Oh, he's big. Yeah, he's pretty big. Oh man, pretty big. Oh my, whoo, he's about seven or eight pounds. I'm just gonna cut it. All right, guys, we finally got two two fish on limb lines. My gosh. Here. Wait a minute. All right, guys, catfish number two, about another eight pounder. Not bad. Right as we was saying, let's go, we were starting to pull up the limb lines and we heard a ginormous splash. Not bad. It's a nice channel cat. Whew. Wow, hey, at least we got two. We ended up doing a little better than we thought we would. Okay. Um, Put it up a little bit. Not, not covering your face. Don't cover in your face. <sighs> Put it down a little bit. 
Okay. Uh, whew. He's a hefty one, guys. He might be. He might go. He might go about nine or ten. Oh goodness. It's not a bad one. You just never know when they're gonna bite. Sometimes it's just real sporadic through the night, once an hour, and it just adds up. All right, we gotta get him the cooler somehow. Put it up a little bit. Mm. He's a big one. That's a big one. It's a big channel cat. It sure is. My God. <sighs> okay, let's open the cooler. I guess give me my hat back. And then, guys, what a channel. I know you probably can't see it right now, but that is a big channel. <laughs> 